Hey, uh, we got Scott Jaster here and Logan. We're going to be reviewing some some pedals, <laughs> uh, guitar pedals here. So the three pedals we're going to be looking at here are three that I've been having a hard time deciding which one I like. I mean, you can have all the pedals, but which I was one? Was like peeking around the side. You were peeking around the side. All right, so so we, hang on, Logan. So we got these three pedals here that I've been trying to uh, see which one I want to use for the most part, and. Uh, couldn't decide, so I just made a I'm gonna make a little video just to kind of show people some of the things that I've figured out. So we got the Korg Pitch Black on the left. We have the uh, Mono Prices offerings um, in the middle here, and we have the Behringer TU 300 on the right. When you're when you're tuning, oh, watch out, Logan. When you're tuning Whoa. and you're trying to um, change, oh, you want to be in the picture? Okay, say what's up, man. You are energetic. All right, back up. Hang on a minute, Logan. <laughs> so if you want to uh, uh, loosen my train of thought, if you want to tune and you're, you're, you're trying to, you know, mess with the, the... All right, my guitar here is tuned to C standard. I'm going to pluck the low C string here so you can see some signal uh, response time here on these pedals. So there's low C. I'm going to mute the strings to give you more than one example. So what I've been finding is in general, the mono price is the fastest responder. I have multiple units of, of each of these pedals, and so it's not like I have a bad unit here, or this is, you know, all the Behringers are fine, I just have a bad Behringer. See how long the Behringer took to respond on that one. So basically the Korg is, is a very fast display, very fast response. It's just slightly behind the mono price in general, and the Behringer is very slow to respond in low frequencies only. So here's a high C, and uh, you can see they all respond about the same. I'm going to mute that so you can see it again. I see, there you go. So the Behringer is a little bit delayed, but it's not a big deal. You get into uh, the lower stuff, so there's a um, F, F note here, just slightly higher than the low C. So you can see uh, the Behringer is, is starting to get a little delayed there. So anything lower than that, and you're, you're going to have delays. And I found uh, with you know drop D, C standard, uh, seven string, eight string, you know, any of that kind of stuff. It's it does not respond well to low frequencies, and and the problem is, is when you're trying to tune it and it's not responding right away, and you're turning the tuning knob to tune everything, and you might overshoot it or undershoot it, and you can get it tuned, so it's not that big a deal. It's just that it's not that responsive, and it's kind of annoying. So, I guess you could say if you wanted to compare it, uh, the Behringer is a uh, you know 25 bucks or so, but so is the Mono price. The Korg is about two and a half times the price, maybe 70, 80 bucks. Comparing these readouts here. Uh, I'm not going to say anything that you, you don't see in the, in the image here, but basically um, the main thing you can't really see is the mono price, the, the letter readout is very bright. So it might be too bright for some people. It might mess up your night vision a little bit. The room is dark, but other than that, I like it. It's a nice big display. It's nice and bright, nice and clear. So there you go. Logan, which one of these three pedals right here, you see those three pedals right there? Which one do you like? Whoa. I don't like any of them because you need to buy you need to buy a, a blue one. A blue one. So that's important for them to work right. Oh, okay. All right. I'll see you later. Say bye. Let's see here. <laughs> that camera is ridiculous. Okay.